welcome to Kailas. Today I'm gonna take you backstage to see our optical ground station here in our headquarter and discover how we actually managed to establish links with satellites. Come on, follow me. Hello Martin. Hi. So let's start at the beginning. Can you tell me a bit more about this optical ground station? Yeah, so this pilot station has been developed since 2021 as part of uh, Kernos project. And in 2024, we achieved our very first optical uh, communication with this station. And thanks to it, we can um, validate now our future subsystems with higher performance capabilities. With this station, we can carry out satellite passes in real life conditions. That's very interesting. And can you describe to me how exactly an optical link with a satellite works? Yes. Uh, so usually we get in touch with the satellite operator about a week before the pass because we need some are some key inputs to prepare the mission. But please come with me, I will show you how it all works in the OGS Control Center. Okay, let's go! Yeah. So all the satellite passes are programmed thanks to this graphical interface. So first we upload the two-line element, which is basically the file that predicts the satellite position during, uh, during the satellite pass. And then we agree with the satellite operator on the standards that we use at each stage of the pass. Uh, whether it's CCSD or so SDA on the pointing acquisition and tracking phases or on the communication phases itself. And once all this information is entered into uh, the system, uh, the OGS is fully operational and ready uh, to handle the pass. Okay, great. And so during the pass, how does things work? So first, the OGS tracks the satellite uh, based on its ephemeris. During the acquisition phase, the uh, uh, satellite's optical terminal performs a spiral scan, which the OGS uh, perceives are, as uh, small flashes of light. And then our pointing acquisition uh, system locks onto this signal, and this allows to track the, the satellite. So from that point, the optical uh, ground to satellite communication begins and note that everything runs automatically with no human intervention. That's fantastic. Can you share a bit more the recent results that you have? Yeah, sure. So we recently um, achieved several full passes with Kepler Communications and with them we managed to uh, achieve SDA compatible bidirectional um, communication. To give you an order of magnitude, in less than 10 minutes we exchange several gigabytes of data per pass. Wow, that's great. Thanks a lot, Martin. Thank I you, wish too. you a lot of success to your next test with other satellites. Yeah, thanks. Thank you all for watching this new episode of Behind the Scene and stay tuned for new exciting things to come. Mm -hmm.